Warning, the following video contains spoilers from AMC's The Walking Dead. Hi there, they call me the governor. And like most of you, I was pretty excited to hear there would be these six bonus episodes after the finale that we were denied for so long. Of course, it meant more waiting, and they've teased the hell out of it. So hopefully it's as exciting as the trailers. We get to see the aftermath of the Whisperer War and why there are clone troopers on Earth. Be sure to stick around after the reaction for my full review of the episode. Alright, let's get to it. Oh, <laughs> I guess we had an ABC didn't dull her skills any. Oh, how cute. Hmm. She is way too wise for her age. Oh, bullshit. You just don't want to be shown up by a kid. Oh, this is fucking awkward. <laughs> hey, language. Judith is right fucking there. Ocean Side's the only place not fucked up. These are my people. Maggie has people now. Is everybody okay? <laughs> this episode has all the awkward moments. <laughs> you couldn't just tell her. You have to walk there with her. Really? Eh, a little paint. It'll be good as new. <laughs> Like Negan isn't already on her shit list. Uh, mm-hmm. This cold guy ain't wrong. Still out. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh. No. Keep an eye out. For Connie, yeah. Virgil didn't bring her home yet? What a dick. Hey, I thought this was The Walking Dead, not The Walking Living. Six bonus episodes and five are watching people hike. All we have to do is clear this whole parking lot full of sickles and mm -hmm. pull up for the night. Sure. <laughs> Somebody uses Viagra. Ooh, sweet double blade to the head. Bite a killing is fun. But where's the Ninja Turtle? Oops, Maggie's got a boo boo. Oh, here comes Leonardo. I squish. I'm squishing your head. Squish, squish. <laughs> the exposition hour with Maggie Ree. <laughs> and you told him it's because Daryl was fucking stupid, right? Raised a bloodthirsty regret, didn't you? Nothing like a little bite of kill to start the day. Hey, he's got a point. Lone addicts? Well, I guess those are happy addicts. Ooh, it's a good way for someone to lose an eye. And trust me, it's not fun. Ooh, smoke is never a good sign. Did someone have a gender reveal party? Ooh, did someone order some folks extra crispy? Great. Maggie bought a new enemy. From a supernatural days, no less. <laughs> Somebody's seen some horror movies. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? No, this is not the way. All right, give me your armor. You are not Mandalorian. <laughs> Whoopsie, my bad. <laughs> oh no, not nah. what's his face? Maybe get your ass down, Daryl. Come on. Angry Maggie is scary. I think they know how the deer feel. Ouch. Yeah, you think? It's a good one, too. <laughs> See, it's a real good trap. Another one bites the dust. 
Um, dying Glass Woods are supposed to have words. But, guess not. That's a real nice gun to just abandon. Distraction? Trap? Yeah, new trap. Ooh, <laughs> whoa, sneaky motherfucker. Ah, Maggie's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> or not. Ooh, <laughs> shit, fighting goddamn Jason Cross with MacGyver. <laughs> Eat that asshole. Daryl's a coming. <laughs> oh, fuck, so much for Daryl. Ooh, damn, guess he got the point. So he's gotta be wearing Kevlar or some shit. What was that? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh. Well, that guy went to pieces. Hey, Holy shit, it's Mini Glenn. <laughs> Hat and everything. Tara looks like he's seen a little ghost. <laughs> Ooh, now that was real nice of them. Well, at least he ditched the jacket. This is home, sweet home. What, you got other offers? Prick. And don't make it even more awkward, Negan. Shut up. I do have to say that after all the wait, this episode didn't really thrill me as much as I'd hoped. They still have five to go and maybe it will get better. And maybe it was because they were bogged down with the whole reintroducing Maggie and explaining where the hell she'd been. Which they did. Explain. And explain. And explain. Guess they haven't heard of showing and not telling. But at least if you're telling, make sure you can be heard clearly. Between Daryl mumbling and Maggie soft talking and whatever nonsense that Reaper guy said, I got about half the words. So that's why we turn on subtitles, Chandler. So, between explaining to Maggie about Negan and Maggie explaining about her life and the fucking walking, aside from a short spurt of bite killing half this episode was pretty action-free. And Maggie comes back to help fight Whispers when she's got a bunch of these Reapers hunting her and her group down. Gee, thanks. If you hadn't said Gabriel, I'd say you could have stayed home. But she's here, and with little Herschel, who's a spitting image of Glenn, only slightly shorter. You can tell he's his father's son. He can almost see him already delivering pizza. And we got to see Leonardo, I mean, uh, Elijah's face, and he's got issues. Seems pretty traumatized. I'd be traumatized too if I was in juvie. And we got to meet Cole, who seems like a snarky son of a bitch. Cole near the beginning of the episode had something totally right. You're just gonna let Negan live next door? The whole torching hilltop, I don't blame Negan for that. If he hadn't been in that line shooting flaming arrows, someone else would have been, and he'd have never had his chance to kill Alpha. It wouldn't have made any difference, but he still killed Glenn and Abraham, and let's not forget Spencer, and Sasha might still be alive if it weren't for him. Well, they probably would have had to find another way to kill her off so she could go join Starfleet. And that doesn't count all the people its followers killed. I'm not talking about just in battle, but just by being dicks. So does his six years in a cell make up for all that? I don't know. I realize I'm not the one to talk about asking forgiveness for killing, but I'm dead. And I'm not trying to join the Alexandria Book Club or go to Judith's school plays. I understand we'll learn more about Negan within the next five episodes, and he probably has a past and reasons for what it did. But is anything really going to justify his actions? I know there are Negan fans out there, but if it had been your family and friends he lucilled, you might not be so much of a fan. So back to this episode, it was oddly paced. and At the end of the day, we find out about a new group of morons and how they like to blow themselves up. We got to see more of Maggie's folks die and meet Herschel, which is good. But I get the feeling this episode was more set up than anything else. Let's hope we get a payoff soon. And we saw nothing about the stormtroopers. And while we wait for that payoff, feel free to check out these other videos over here. Show your love for the Gov and subscribe down there, if you haven't already. 
Follow us on the social things and check out fandomspotlight.com. See you next time. Governor, out.